spent a lot though. Look at this car, guys. This is as good as it gets. 9.5 Battle Spectre Gym, Carnage it. versus Venom. All right, so we were in here yesterday, but we were not recording. And we stumbled upon a Lydia Lee sketch. It's not the best sketch ever, but it's really nice. It's got a decent price on it. We're gonna see if we can make a deal. If it's still there. Okay, some new stuff is in the case, including an Ahsoka Tana Auto. Yeah, so, so two, one sold, uh, This is where it was at. And one sold for an eight, and one sold at twelve hundred. So right. I kind of split that. Right. Yeah. Seven. yeah, I mean, I, I'll have to admit. I mean, yeah. it went from it went from. No, that. oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> no, it, it definitely like. It looks like it may and be I, gone. And I, I don't know the results today, right. so I haven't, I haven't checked either. Yeah, so. so I'm like, I don't know what. The... No, I know. <laughs> yeah, I think like I'm probably just gonna be too far off on that one, but I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Did you add some stuff from yesterday? I did not. No. See that one. You had a you had a Liddy Vision sketch in here yesterday. Definitely. Somebody may bought it. Somebody bought a bunch of sketches for me. They did. Yes. Oh man, we may have missed out. Yeah, somebody bought like four or five sketches for me already. Uh, did I see that you put a, an Ahsoka Tana auto? Which one? An Ahsoka Tana auto. Oh. Uh, I don't remember seeing it yesterday. Oh yeah, no. So I. So my Star Wars stuff that um, I made through and added more Star Wars yeah. stuff out. Is it moving pretty well? Uh, people have been asking about it. Uh, I mainly collect Star Wars stuff, so I don't have much to put out. <laughs> I'd rather do stuff that... Uh, right? I just took a You got some? I'll look. I just took almost all of it. Justin, I'm in the PNG market. Are you? I'm a great curator with all my Star Wars. I need your evaluation. Okay. I think that these and some cats. Is he is he claiming to have tenderized you? I don't know. I'm on that stupid video, and I just hate myself on camera, <laughs> and I have no idea if I did a good job or not. But okay. I'm in the Star Wars for such a good price. Yeah. And I mean, I have no idea. I have no idea. Like I told you, I was in, BMGs intimidate me. Well, PS I have a rogue one that I didn't bring a red. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So in 2018, so I got huh? rid of 2018 Plural Tracks. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a set. Um, I don't think I brought it. It's yeah, sitting in my it was sitting in my graded stack. All right, so you got these from Great Curator. What was the? So I got rid of uh, a lot of PSA 10 numbered Star Wars. Okay. And actually a, a UFC card. I'm big into UFC, so I got rid of like a right. hot. Probably I probably undersold the card for sure. Yeah. Well, Dan, Dan likes to uh, move in and out of stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just, I'm looking, you know, I've never owned a BMG. I could they intimidated me. Yeah. So I was like, well, here's a chance, you know. All right, so here's what you know. This is about as good an art as you can get for Black Widow, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now, she does have a really nice 2015 BMG. Okay. Okay, so it's not to discount yeah. those. I don't think she has a 2013. I can't remember off the yeah. top of my head. Yeah. I love this one. This is actually one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. It's, and, I, and I think you said it on your channel, the blue would kind of do a disservice to it. And even though, you know, even, you know, maybe a green, because like red and green tend to go, you know, think Christmas, think of like a good time. But I, I completely agree with you. I think the blue, like same thing with like a human torch, I think like it would do kind of a disservice. Yeah, so I, uh, so yes, because they really intimidate, but like, and I'm sure they're, you know, they're not as hot as they were. Uh, you know, six months ago or whatever. I mean, but, but that's I mean, still, it's still. That's when you want to slide in, my friend. Exactly. I was in for about 2000 $2,000. I was in, well, 
I was in two thousand dollars, eighteen hundred on the Star Wars Depends. It was a lot. It was a lot of BS eighteen. a lot of HGA slabs, and it was stuff that I had opened. So we pretty much went. Um, so we pretty much went. Uh, sorry, we went like for like. Okay. Eighteen hundred. He valued these at about eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight fifty. Um, Star Wars. I'm in the Star Wars for pretty cheap. Cause I bought cases of it. Right. And it came out for cheap. Right. Um, and so I'm way up. And I sold. Um, see his video about the Kurosawa that yeah. he's one. Okay. I as soon as that sold, I had the I had the out of one fifty. Yeah. HGA graded and wind up selling it. Like I didn't even, was not selling. It. I put it for some. I put it for like twelve hundred dollars. Like nobody's gonna pay that. For this. <laughs> and I like literally after the video dropped, it pops. It pops. Let's. It popped. Yeah. So nine point so, five HGA. Yeah, out of one hundred and fifty. Out of one hundred and fifty, and you sold it for twelve hundred. Yeah. That's yeah. great. It, it, it's like I had no so, idea. So I was in it pretty well, and then I sold him a um, an up and coming UFC guy for uh, for this plus five hundred cash, and I valued mine at two thousand. Okay, so in January I bought or traded from Dan for his Black Widow PSA nine for twelve hundred. Okay. So where did he put this today? So he put that at about fifteen hundred. Okay. Before the this last decline in Marvel cards, I, I wouldn't have taken four, about four thousand for it. Okay, so it's not there now. Right, right, yeah, right. But that's just but how I feel. Up, must, wait, what goes down must come up. Yeah, I mean that's just where I that's what I feel about the cards. What I feel about it being a nine. Right. Okay. And it's something you know, if it's something you get into that you don't mind looking at every single day. Right. And the Moon Knight series didn't help it too much. It, but see, that's the thing. I don't have the data, so what what do I know? Right. But I don't think I don't think it rarely it rarely ever does. What the movie does is it drives it up until the movie comes out, and then there's always a little fall off because people like to spec, yeah. right? Yes. yes. The people yes. who yeah. so last summer I could have bought a full rainbow of Moon Knight, okay. green, purple, green, blue, red that of this, this okay. for twenty three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. The full rainbow. Yeah, but not the one. The, of one. Not the one of right, one. Right. So the best time if you're going to sell, hold on to stuff. Anything Vader, anything Luke, yeah. anything because with Obi Wan coming out, so it's like it's the best time to hold on. The series is going to hit right. with a bang. I mean, it can't do any worse than Book of Boba Fett. Right. It can't do any worse. Than Especially that. that ending. So yeah, it can't do any worse. So I don't know. I think I think now's the time to move star wars. yeah now's the time and i think it, you know when, when you come into something the price point that's low it makes it justifies it easier and it's something like i told you i told you that way back there before i even saw it the pmgs intimidate me they intimidate me because it's like when i think about it and i think about that money i'm like <laughs> my mind does not look right. at sports cards as an investment it looks at it as oh my gosh that's a vacation right that, that right that, you know, so. It's like I remember some guy looking at a Thor, red Thor, and he was like, that is like a new zero-turn mower. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's just however you, you crack He's it not up, wrong. You know? I was it like, he's, he's like seven grand. He's not wrong, it you is. know. I'm going to let you get back. Awesome, I'm going to let you get back. Great to see you. Hey, thank, thank you for you sharing guys. that with me. Absolutely. Yeah, you have a great day. All right, take care. Well, that was fun. I think he got a good deal. I think he moved something that is hot right now. He was able to get max value possibly for it. And moving to something that's cold right now that has a chance of going up and he seems like he enjoyed the cards i think that's important what do you do warren buffett sell high buy low right okay, okay so from the star wars standpoint this catch caught my eye look at that detail so good the two teams i had uh -huh. you got tall autos this was an sgc 10. Oh, this wow. was a color red and dark red. Like if I would have known that. Yeah. So you know that they've got Sukatana. They've got it. Ashley has stats. And then that's the, the rare and sort of kind of like that blue one. Uh huh. And it does have so, um, some of the Marvel cards. I need these three. I, guess, okay. uh, I don't have those. This is mainly collection wise. Thanos. Uh, kind of like that Thanos. I'm not a yeah, these three. Let me know what, where you're. Did you see Spider-Man? Oh uh, yeah, I looked through those. It was mainly these right here that I was possibly interested in. So we're coming back to this room. We were in here yesterday, and we saw some amazing Marvel cards over here. We're gonna see if they're still there. So let's go. Rainbow here. 
Miles Green PMG. That is definitely a card I would love to have in my collection. Is it green? Yeah. It's, it's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Yeah, that, the guy that has all that, that clicks is nice, and then this guy, he has it. What's his name? So this this is, uh, what's it, Dave? Uh, Dave, uh... Clay's cards? This is Clay. Yeah. This is Clay's cards? This is Clay's cards. And this is Dave? Dave? Yeah, Dave. They're kind of poor. They're kind of poor. They just want, yeah, they just want back. They did. I mean, there's such good cards here. We got a 9.5 red 2013 PMG Spidey. We got a green, black cat. This is the whole set of these, I think. Full set of 2017. 2015. 20, sorry. Full set of 2015 red PMGs with the Spider Man's 8.5. I wish you had a double of the, the red Spidey. I need that to finish my Red Spidey PMGs. I'm missing it. But it, I always see it in the set. Like, almost, yeah. They are, you know, there was a few big set sales, like the 2017 full uh, Red Set did, like, I don't know, near, right at 200, something stupid, some stupid number. And then everybody was like, put a set together and sell it. And then, yeah, he goes down, yeah. Yeah. He goes on something. It's like, can afford to do that, first off. Right. I mean, I actually had probably 30 of the reds, and I could have, and I had the big ones already. I had Miles and Spidey. I, 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 I bought them right off the bat because I'm a big one. Yeah. I bought a player for a long time. I sold them, they were cheap. They didn't cost anything. Right. I bought a ton of the greens. Like, you know, like, roughly around, you know, when, when they were like 40, 50 bucks each. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I sold at 100. I was like, small pocket. You could have them. I doubled my money. I was fine. You know? What was your best when you sold? I had an Apocalypse, I had a Namor, mm -hmm. I had... So these are 2015. 15. Yeah. Uh, 14 years ago. What was the first year? 13. 13. I had some 13 years. Right? Okay. I had some 13 years. Like those, I was mainly doing x men so some of the X-Men guys. Yeah. And, yeah, right off the bat, I'm cheap. They didn't cost anything. Yeah. No, it didn't Nobody cared. You know, nobody cared. How long have you been into cards? Forever. Forever? Yeah, since the late 80s. Yeah. Since I was a kid. I never quit. You never a lot of people quit, you know, but I, I quit. You know, I quit uh, maybe two years, my last two years of high school. Yeah. And then I got to college, you know, in 2000, I started. Yeah. You were back in? Yeah. So I, I've been going, yeah, nonstop, continuing since 2000. Yes, from, from roughly seventh grade until last year, had not been heavily back into college. And then... How old are you? 38. 38, yeah, you're the best name is me. I'm 39. Yeah. I'm 40. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I got married at 19, so. I got married at 22, yeah. Just, I was, no room for cards until I, I recently. Yeah, I, I, I never stopped. You know, I were, you doing, were you doing, were you doing just Marvel or were you collecting no, other stuff? Mainly baseball. baseball okay. Baseball, baseball. Well, that helped because yeah. baseball cards never really went away. Marvel kind of yeah, disappeared. Came, yeah, it came, yeah, it was gone. I, I did a lot of the mid-90s. Yeah. Know, the, the metal yeah, sets like, and some yeah. of that stuff that Early 90s in Pills. Like, yeah. I did those when I was a kid, and then there was nothing forever yeah. for a long time. But what made you get back into it when you were buying them so cheap? I've always been comic books. Okay. So, yeah, I, I so you were on eBay, and you're like, that's a Marvel yeah. card. I, I was a big fan of the good basketball and baseball from the late 90s. So mm -hmm. Jumped right in. Yeah, it, was, it was easy. It was easy. This Iron Man? See, see for, me, for me, I don't like Eric Williams. Because they, they weren't the traditional like, red and green. Stuff. I hear that a lot. Like red and green. Explains why the red set does so well in comparison to the blue. Yeah, for, for me, it's yeah, the red and green. So. Are you going to buy into Spider Man Metal? When's it come out? June. I need to. Only red and green. I didn't know it was. And they went back and hired the same arena designs that did this for yeah, them? Yeah, they got the red and green. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. This should be real good. Thank you for answering my question. Yeah, no problem. Hit 42 last time. All right, do, uh, I don't remember, did we see Marvel cards back around? I don't think so. So let's go into this room next. Cross from us. Yeah. We're back. Hey, how are you? Now you were gonna educate us on Fortnite. Wait, did you sell Peely? Mm -hmm. Did you sell Peely? 
No, oh, there it is. But the guy, the guy, the guy's gonna come back and buy. Is he really? He's gonna buy this Peely, this Peely, and the Black Knight. Oh wow, he's, he's working a deal right now. He's spending the big bucks. Are y'all doing sticker price? I guess they working out some deal. Oh. I'm working to do it for my friend. This is something. Right. But I know the cards. That's insane. That's twenty thousand dollars worth of cards. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for sharing with us. Oh, no problem. No problem. That's, an, that's nuts. I mean, I know the video game's big, and it's, I think people probably think it's important long term. Or maybe it's this generation's Pokemon. Hmm. Crazy. I got a serious that we're going to put on display that we're just never going to sell is like we're just buying it. It's like, it's like 3D versions of a really cool gallery photo shoot. Like we're we'll bringing videographers and we'll get you like the best VR and marketing materials hey, for all of your yeah, stuff. What are we looking at? My 3D printing of Pokemon stuff is just in my right to mind if I can make it. Some that I can't sell I should be mad. But the rest of it is like Got you. Those wings move? Oh, wow. I get moved, I have printed in place. The wings get captured. You know, snap in, but the whole thing is printed in place. You can't That's pretty cool. Uh, the small ones are five bucks. I might come down to buy more than one. Mm -hmm. Or you can try winning them with the game. And if you pick the right card, you get the big right there. There's one card for each one of these guys in there. The gold one and the big ones. So you have a chance of picking up one of these for the same price as one of those. If you pick the right card. So you commit to buy one of those. Yeah. Otherwise, you're guaranteed to get one of these. All right. So Destin's going to play this game. He's going to spend five dollars to get one of these. But he's going to pick a card, and if he picks a card, he gets one of the big ones. Yep. All right, so we're looking for the Tail Whip, Scratch, Energy, Energize. Is that right? Bubbles? All right, Dustin. Come on, bud. $5 a pull? Okay. Well, I've got a bit. All I've got is big I got you. So I might need to come back. Hold on. I think I got it. Hold this. All right. I'm glad he rocked me. I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. Yeah, I made my round. There goes money paid. Yeah, the camera. Yeah, we need to be able to like have rotating. Oh! This is an energy card. You get to pick the card, but you can choose. Technically, you should be getting Squirtle. That's actually what I wanted. There you go. All right. I'm going to do a big Squirtle. What makes you? What really makes you cry is it. We're headed back into the big room. We really, we really haven't looked at this today. We came in once to look at a couple of sketch cars that we knew were there. Well, we thought they were there, but then they went away. So let's let's find our Marvel card friends first, because the day is getting away from us really fast. Daniel, the great curator. I don't know where he's at. I think he may be on this back wall somewhere. him anywhere. Have you seen him? Yes. Looking for Merle and Daniel, the great curator. No, I have not. All 
I was thinking he was on that back wall, but let's go see Michael. Ah, there's Dan. All right, so you guys have met Michael on the channel before. We kind of run out of room here. Got okay. Some, got some hey, what would you like for supper tonight? We got some <laughs> X Men archives on tap here. Uh, would you like a little? Well, we've broken some boxes together, done grave reveals, but we did his house tour, and he basically has brought his house to Dallas, oh, absolutely. right? Absolutely. So we're gonna take a look at these cards. Virtually everything he has here is graded, and I think if it's stacked, that means it's doubles and triples, right? Yeah. Quite the stack here. Doing classic bookstore style with peaks and valleys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can I take a look at this Spider-Man? Absolutely. And where is Michael? Where is Michael? He went to get some water. Do you want me to bring him back over here? No, take your time. So I wanted to look. So this is a graded uh, Spider-Man, BGS 8. It's a great card. It's a vending machine. And I just picked up a vending machine card. Really? Spawn. Yeah. And I want to compare the back to see if mine's authentic. Sounds good. Can yeah. I do that? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So let's look at the two. Again, we have two vending machine cards, Spawn and Spidey. So Spidey has... 1992 Marvel Entertainment written here. Mine doesn't have anything written on the front. We're looking at the back. There's the maestro himself. Hey guys, what's happening? But I need you to tell me, is this is this a real vending machine spawn? Yeah, it's real, but they won't grade it. Why's that? It doesn't have the copyright on the front. Yeah. See? That's what I thought. It's awesome though. It is an awesome card, I think. Yeah. I paid fifty dollars for it. Okay. No, forty dollars. Okay. It's awesome. I like your Spidey too. Yeah. Yeah. So those are so tough to get good grades. The Spidey has 1992 Marvel Entertainment. This does not identify it as an image card, so Beckett won't grade it. Right. So Beckett will grade anything that has a label on it, right? Yeah, basically. Like, yeah. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How's fun? the day been going? Yeah, it's we're going having, really good. We're having a great time. I want to show you a card I traded for. Okay, yeah, show me. McFarland. Mm -hmm. I recently got a collection. It's uh, it's Todd McFarland's collection. That's I've been trying to see how that goes. I mean, oh, great. I, I spent a lot though. Look at this card, guys. This is as good as it gets. Nine point five Battle Spectre Gym. I'm in it. versus Venom. I'm in it. Uh, did forty five hundred cash. Okay. And I did 3,000 in trade value. Oh, cards. wow. So I'm about 7,500 in it. So I'm like, I think that's fair market. I don't know if that's too high or too low. Is well, I mean, raw, they're 2,000. Gym, yeah. So, yeah. And there's not a lot of gym mints with that not, card. I know. I just love the card. It's just awesome. It's awesome. You did good. Thanks. I like it. Thanks. I'm in love with that card, by the way. Yeah. It's In my collection, it's one of my favorite cards that I own. Yeah. Mine's being graded right now. Is it? Yeah, that I, same one's being graded? I have one being graded, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's going to get... You don't think? A 9.5. Yeah. Yeah. I picked up one of these and one of these. Nice. I love these Spideys. That whole nine panel is awesome. These are all checklists? Yeah. Wow. So I love this Magneto. Wolverine. The Thanos is great. The, the metal set. Venom is Punisher. <laughs> is awesome. But as everyone on my channel knows, this is probably my favorite art card. I forgot. You actually told me that before. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome card. I just love the, the way both Wolverine and Spidey are represented oh, on the yeah. card. Yeah. The, the ferociousness of Wolverine. You can just you get a sense of how dangerous he is. Yeah. The athleticness and the calmness of Spidey, just like. Yeah, you can feel the agility. In the just, yeah. yeah. Wolverine just slices through the, the grave. <laughs> and it's in honor of a comic book. Yeah. Where it, I didn't know that. Spidey's jumping straight up in the air and Wolverine's slashing underneath him in the graveyard. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Dang. Did you see my 
1994 Black Panther came back as a PSA 9. Did it? Yeah, I think I'm going to resubmit it, to be yeah. honest with you. Because they're really clean. PSA. That greater in that whole submission yeah. didn't give us any 10. Zero. Nines were the best I got. Yeah. It was rough. Yeah. When I, when I sent all my PSA cards through KK Sports, yeah. I was very pleased. But when I sent off my own little 50, 100, or 200 cards, yeah. it was terrible. Isn't that something? I don't know if it's a coincidence. It's got to be something to it. It's got to be. Right. It's got to be. I can't it's, prove it. I don't know. Love this Venom. Do you guys remember last night on the Marvel in Motion? Marvel Motion? That was the Venom that was in the motion. And isn't this cool? The two images you've got. Get that light out of the way. You've got uh, Alternate X, Weapon X, Wolverine. And then Wolverine, you see how Wolverine's missing his hand? That's because Cyclops, who is a villain in the Alternate X storyline, the Age of Apocalypse, he's a villain. And as Wolverine's cutting his eye out, Cyclops blows his hand off. <laughs> but in this storyline, Wolverine gets Jean Grey. That's his girl. Worth the hands. Yep, it worth the hands, right? It's cool stuff. And I've always loved this idea of Iron Man as a knight, with a suit of armor, you know, the suit of knight armor. Isn't that cool? Was it Kent that bought a box of these recently? He did. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for him to grade, grade them, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. see what he gets? Yeah, take them out and grade them, man. I doubt he's getting a 9.5. So, you tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, only from Italy. There's two versions, the matte finish, as you see here, and then a glossy version. They are originally released as tarot cards. The full set came in one sealed box. Mm -hmm. They used to go for two to three hundred, now they're five hundred to a thousand. Wow. So, really, the, the artwork I've never seen anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. Very exclusive to those to that set. Right. Uh, it shouldn't be, huh? Shouldn't that be Gwen Stacy and they labeled it Mary Jane? Did you notice that? Well, Gwen Stacy is blonde headed, Mary Jane's red headed. Gwen Stacy wears a green dress. They might have mislabeled her. Yeah. yeah. That's very, yeah, yeah. Doctor Strange back, they're all the same. Okay. All yeah. the Doctor Strange back. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's no way for them to know, honestly, without, unless this, unless the uh, error actually comes from the, the checklist right. and the artist. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's pretty cool though. Yeah. You don't have an extra Wolverine versus Sabretooth? Yes, I'm going to have one. Okay. My guy in Australia is a gem man, okay? Yeah. And he promised me next time we trade, it'll be for that. So okay. I'm 90% sure I'm going to own one. And you don't have a 9.5 in that, right? No, but that is a 9.5. Right, but the one you have now is what? I don't own one. Oh. No, I don't even have one. I was seeing if you have two. No, no I don't. I don't. I need, a, I need one. Gotcha. But no. I know you need one too, yeah. as well. I don't. I don't have one. Michael, in this particular display right here, outside of this card, what is your favorite card? Um, uh, no, no, no. The, uh, oh, wait, I see these down here. This is a tough one. That's, yeah. It's just an amazing world. The gold label matches the gold card. I don't know. Everything about it. Yeah, the artwork. Wait, Out of 15. Yeah. The product it came from, you know, it's, yeah. Absolute my favorite hit out of all of X-Men Metal that I hit. Yeah. Yes. And I was e-packing at night by myself in my room. Yeah. I'm just clicking and I bought a case. Uh -huh. I'm into my second box uh -huh. and I hit the gold Wolverine. I'm like, I wish I could just sell everything else. Did you grade it or keep it or what happened? I traded it for the one of one printing place from the Dark Phoenix to go with my rainbow. Okay. I don't know if that was good or bad. I don't no, it's terrible. Opinion. Is it? But it's what it took to get it. That's what you wanted. Well, I'd already built the rainbow. I'd already had the green, the oh, black, the blue, yeah, the green, so you're, the oh, oh, well, yeah. So I was, I'm Collectively PC speaking, and, that makes sense. I only have one chance to get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was valuing it around a little over $2,000. Yeah. This, one of these raw had just sold for 1200 At the time, yeah, I, I get like, it. I, get I was it. like, man, I, yeah. I'm only going to get real one real chance to get these plates. Let me go ahead and do it. Anybody ever finds a 9.5 of those? 
I'll yeah. trade and pay cash, you know? Yeah. So, That's an amazing yeah. car. Look at this sketch card. Spidey and Daredevil. Oh, uh, Deadpool. Right here. I'll tell you that gold's coming in soon. The trade I did with my friend in Australia. Yeah. Jim and gold. Man. Really? I'm so excited. That is going to be exciting. Yeah. That's going to finish you for Venom for Masterpieces, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you, you have 1250 on that? Who's the artist on that? Daryl James. Did you hear there's a Gnar Venom in the other room? No, where? What's uh, in like a million dollars? 4,000. Yeah. It's not that cool. Gnar is just And I'm going to tell you, it's as good of a Gnar as I've ever seen. Love to see it. It's Venom holding Spider-Man's mask and all the Gnarness. Yeah. Like, so what room again? The one where the mar where we saw you this morning? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I need to go check that out. Look at these two sketches. Was it hard laying this out and getting it all in the right spot? No. no. Because yeah. of the cases that I saw that you had. Yes. Yeah. That helped my organization. Okay, Packed cool. them in there the right way and unloaded them, so Beautiful. that helped a lot. Yeah. But if you want to ask my favorite card in this. Yes, I do. Of course. <laughs> the yeah. pristine but, 10. But second favorite, surprisingly, is that one. And that's probably only worth a thousand. I just love it, you know. This is the it's not for sale price, just so yeah, you know. Yeah, but it also has the non-foil rare version of that. Yeah. I could probably get like six to seven. Right. I don't know. Love that card. Old Batman actor. Did you watch that show a lot? No, no. Ten thousand for the San Lee Last Stand. It's a great Spider version Man of Jim his Man. auto. He's part of that trade I did with the guy in Australia. It's coming in. A oh, Spider-Man Jim and Pepsi Prism. Pepsi Prism. Yes, Spider-Man Jim. And it's a BGS. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get the scent of that. I love those. I have the Spidey Prism, but that's it. Do you? But it's raw. Yeah. It's a great card. Look at the the uh, Gleave Wolverine and uh, X23. I love that. Wow. Did you buy those? Yeah, not raw. Wrong. Yeah, got them ready, yeah. They can like, grade sketch you saw them on so eBay? Great. Yeah, yeah. They grade sketch parts so well, I think. They don't take off for surface. We've got two PMGs, or a pink and a PMG. And this is a double impact. On the back side of this is Storm, I believe. Is that what it says? Wolverine. Venom. Venom, that's right. Spidey and Storm are together. And Wolverine and Venom. Oh man, so much to look at. We've got the out of 75 Wolverine. That's what we were trying to hit last night. In the uh, 75th. Yep. We've got some interesting DC cards. Wow, I pulled this card in my uh, Batman stuff. He's got $650 on it. And then 500 on this one. I need to get mine graded. <laughs> Didn't realize they were selling for that much. Okay, so Michael was talking to me about this card. We've got a Joe Jusco Auto graded in a PSA 9, but uh, the auto did not come on the card out of the pack. It was added later. And then we got this uh, Wolverine. That's out of 100. Is it out of 100? It's out of 100. Yeah, okay. I was getting confused with the other ones. I did, I did, I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually did. I got confused last night. I, I like this image of Wolverine too. It's cool. Hey, can I look at this? Yeah. I've never seen one in person. Yeah. If you were watching the live stream a few nights ago, Norm Rad was talking about this and how if you try to buy this card online, it looks really, really flat. But that it's actually thick. And you can't see it right there, but maybe right there you can see it. It's thick. And you kind of get a feel for what it is here a little better. That looks so pink. It's amazing how pink it looks, but it, I love I love that car too. You have this one in the 9.5? Yeah. Played it? Yeah. It's 
got 3,000 on this Spidey here. Love that card. I got the auto of that one at PSA right now. We think it's a 10. Yeah. Think it's a 10, but... You have multiples of this one? Yeah, two. Two nines? Yeah. I'm trying to get that 9.5, you know? And I, mine won't help you. The one yeah. I have is like an 8. It's got a bad corner. But. All right, man. We're going to keep walking okay, around. Okay. Love it. See you all tonight. Michael. See you. See you. Great. See you. All right, so we located Dan, the great curator. We're headed there now. What's up, my friend? How are yes. you? How's it going? Good, good. Are you yeah. set up or are you just walking? Forward? I'm just walking this time. Yeah, yeah. It was way too much work in Atlanta for me. <laughs> I, and I don't want to sell anything anyways. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You pick up anything good? Only a couple of PSA cards. They were okay. just too cheap to pass up. Yeah, yeah. It was a Wolverine and Spidey, Jim Mint 10 for 100 bucks. Nice, nice. Yes, I'll take those. But. Right. And then uh, there's a NAR sketch over in the other room. Are you? Is this for your vlog? Mm -hmm. Can we do a, a, a yeah, let's do it. Build, yeah. We got, some, we got some stuff to talk about. Some beer, oh, we got some stuff. We got some interesting things to talk about. Okay. Oh man. Looking good. All right, it's a real intro. Okay. All right. So I got Spidey Jew here. All right. Now, do you? Well, I got a new name. Oh, oh now. I'm sorry. I got formerly Spidey Jew. Formerly Spidey Jew. Okay. Now he is Spidey Hits. Spidey Hits. Okay. Justin. Okay. You know, you remember the last Dallas show, right? Yeah. We were here. We were sitting over there at that table. We did. That's when you picked up your Spider-Man 2013 Red PMG. That, okay. At that time, I had debuted Marvel to the show. We were the only ones that had Marvel, and the reception was was overwhelmingly positive. But people thought we were crazy on some of the prices, right? Now, now we're back here. Have you noticed how many people have Marvel? It's insane. It's 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 almost every row. Yeah. Not every table. Yeah. But it, we're talking a multiple of what? Twenty? Yeah. It's, I have I no longer have the competitive advantage. No, and you I don't. was walking the floor, I was like, dang, I get I need to go somewhere else now because I, I'm not the Marvel guy anymore. <laughs> well, Everybody has it. I mean you have somebody who has a seventy green PMG? Yeah, I heard I heard I just yeah mine was absolutely yeah. blown. So so our if our goal our goal was last time was to bring exposure to Marvel, I think I think we hit it. We did. Hey, look. Yeah, we hit it. Yep. It's uh, very cool. Very cool. Well, what I like is that, you know, what we're only five months later, mm -hmm. not even really. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm seeing is people enjoy it. Yeah. And yeah, you know, prices have done what they've done, and they're going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. But they still light up when we're talking about it. There's still an excitement about product that's coming out. Imagine if since January to now we actually had product. Yeah. When the Spider-Man comes out. It comes out at the end of June. Yeah. Um, it's like people at that time people they, they were interested but they they couldn't understand the, the pricing they couldn't understand the value now they see the value like and, and you're right like the market has gone up and down but it's like it's leveling out mm -hmm. but the most important thing I think is that people see these cards as they see value in it now. Mm -hmm. they're not just like for kids it, right you're able to actually take a Marvel card and move into a different type of card. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. You can say, okay, Marvel card, this is $1,000. Okay. I can see that value now. Whereas before, it's like, you're crazy. Yeah. You when, know? You're that Marvel guy. Yeah. You're, and now people are grading them. Yeah. Grading them. So now you're starting to see more of them out there and that validates the value also. For the first time in my collection time frame, yeah. I said pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know, right? Like, that, yeah. I knew it was coming. We've talked about how... Marvel cards needs to mature yeah. or grow up is yeah. actually probably a better word, yeah. right? And then part of that would be a greater population, and yeah. we are starting to see that. Okay, so phase one, mission accomplished. Okay, what is phase two? CGC, CGC grades is probably the next thing, just because it's such a natural fit for Marvel cards. Uh -huh. And I would like to see Upper Deck give us a, a regular schedule release so that the hobby can kind of build itself around we know we're going to get product here. We know we're going to get this released every two years because that's not been the case. I know that's true with sports yeah. right now. And the disruption you're seeing in sports is what we've been living in in Marvel. Yeah. So I can't imagine if like I can count on this product releasing every month, number of years, that that would, what that would do for the hobby. Okay, that's, that's Spidey Hits Phase 2. For me, Phase 2, 
Also, CGC wants, needs to grade it because I need to match it with the comic books. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, I want to make, I want to bring the comic book collector, the toy collectors into the card mm. market. That's what I want to do. I want to see Marvel cards at comic conventions. Yeah. You know, toy shows and things like that. Then you know where you need to be, right? Comic Con. No, right. not Comic Con. Comic Con is too overwhelming in my okay. opinion. We'll get, we'll get swallowed up. HeroCon in June in Charlotte. Okay, never heard of HeroCon. It's in Charlotte. I can't speak to how big it's going to be in the scale of things, but the Marvel card hobbyists, like guys who and gals who've been collecting a long time, are all planning to meet up there. Not just content creators, not just people who buy, sell, and flip, but like collectors are going to meet up there. We have a really good time with Marvel cards, and there's a chance we may have Spidey product there. I, I think that all the Marvel card community collectors need to band together and go to these non-sports card shows together, set up and establish a presence. I love that. And educate new collectors into the community. So that's, for me, that's my phase two. We'll I, see, we'll see where that goes. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you, thank you for being on, guys. Yes, sir. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. How long that. are you here for? We got here yesterday around one or two. And what we were in here for what? Three hours? Three hours. Never made it to you. Like, yeah, you. there was so much Marvel cards. That was crazy. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I told him, I said, hey, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're going to scope, and then I'm going to come back and yeah. film content. We never finished scoping. I didn't get to no, film any content. Watch out. That's that gentleman. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I feel like I, I'm not the big fish anymore, you know? No. <laughs> I, I need to move into Star Wars, so at least I get some type of competitive advantage, you know? I yeah. like that you're moving into Star Wars. Yeah. I told Scandell we needed to start a beef. Marvel cars versus Star Wars. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and I, yeah. I was like, we, we need to like have a war about yeah. Yeah. who's better, Marvel or Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. And, I it. It and like who cares? Right. It would just be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so online beef. Okay. Right. We're gonna do it. All right. I want I want this card. Okay. I'm nowhere near 2K on it. Okay. And I, if I'm being like really honest, I'd rather trade for it. I think about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not that it's not that valuable. Like maybe hundred. No, the car, the car's not that. Yeah, you know, Dark Phoenix is my PC. Well, for X Men Metal, I did the whole rainbow okay. of that. Yeah. And then you got you, you're moving that box and this box. Trying to, you know. What's your price on this one? Uh, seven fifty. Seven fifty. That's the lowest one they have on eBay right now, so I'll just match that. It's the lowest one in the room too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do they have them at eight fifty. What was it? No, no. Nine eight ninety nine. It's hard. It's hard to be. I mean, I was like, even cheaper on eBay though. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then where's this one at now? Uh, I'm at fifteen hundred on that. Right. Yeah, I think the lowest one on eBay is eighteen hundred, but I think fifteen hundred is Where's Merle? He uh, his girlfriend his birthday this weekend, so no way she allowed him to come. Okay. And he's he's like so jealous. So jealous. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Now somebody pulled me aside earlier and was like. His heart was just like racing. He was like, I just traded Dan, my Star Wars, my U USC for PMGs. And he's like, PMGs made me so nervous. How did I do? I was like, I don't know. I'm not into Star Wars or UFC, but how'd you do? I did very well on that. So I got him into the Marvel PMGs. Like I'm letting a lot of my PMGs move to yeah. people who were, who were priced out a right. months ago. Now they want to get in, but they're hesitant. They won't put cash in it, so I'm letting them go to try to like get exposure on them. And I'm just picking up Star Wars and whatever else I can do. So, so I have some. I, for me, it was really good. I have some Star Wars. You know, I, I've opened up Star Wars periodically. Like I told you, when I don't have Marvel to buy, I'll buy Star Wars and rip it for fun. But I, I, it doesn't. It hasn't really grabbed me. I think mainly because it's most of it is like. Movie images, uh -huh. but, but the galaxy. That's where I'm going at. I don't have any galaxy. Really? 
and, right. and I suspect, or that I know of, like uh-huh. I might have a little stack. Do you do vintage from at all? Star Wars. So I tried to buy vintage in Dallas last week. That is really cool. 1977, still box. Where'd you get this? This is actually my friend. He just asked me to put it on here. Yeah. Because I got the Star Wars stuff. Seal box, 1977. So. You know the significance of that? Um, the card, the cards in there? I do know the cards. The error card? No, I do not know the error card. Care about the grade, right? Supposedly, he, he told me this, and I, I, I'm i pretty sure it's this. There's an error C3PO card in there mm-hmm. where they somehow they get they put they gave him like a golden boner. If you know what I'm talking about, that card? No! I think it is in there. You can look that up. That's a C3PO error card. I think it's like a thousand dollar card. High grade. And they recalled it. <laughs> I well, show you. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I gotta show you. <laughs> ABR. ABR, baby. <laughs> oh man. No, I have not heard that. So I was, in, I was in Dallas last week to go to the Rangers game, and I went to a comic book shop. You should be proud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's from the pretty from the set. That's nuts. No, I did not know that. Here I am. I'm thinking you're talking about Luke and Hans. You know, you go to PSA. And you go to the Hans, you go to the non-sports section. It's Hans, you know. So I thought that's what you were talking about. That's crazy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are you trading tonight? I'm always buying, selling, trading. You know. Okay. Tell me what you know. Did you see something like we'll work a deal? Appreciate Okay. Well, so I don't know if you know this, but I have, I have the tier four. I have the. Uh, the gold sig, the orange, the purple. I have the, um, what's the other parallels from that? The what if? No, I don't have the what if for the Wolverine. I do, yeah, yeah. But I also have a sketch being done to be my one of one. But I don't have the Battle Spectre Gem. On the, on the Venoms, I have the whole rainbow, including the what if, and the Battle Spectre Gem, and a sketch. So I need this one to kind of make, make those match. I love that rivalry. You guys, yeah. and that's about as yeah. good as it gets. Yeah, I, I love that yeah. car. Joe Jusco did it right. So, is this your only two cases? Yes. How many cases do you normally have? Two. Two is all. Yeah. Two? I need to expand it three, but I share my table with Brian here. Yeah. He gets two. I get two. Do I know Brian? I don't think so. He's a Sunday League investor on uh, YouTube. He does all soccer. All soccer. Yeah. And next month we're going. Me, Merlin, we're going to Toronto. Oh, we're bringing Marvel. I would love to, Toronto. to go to Toronto. Yeah, to sports. It's supposed to be the second biggest show in North America, only for the national. Somebody, somebody was talking about that the other night. Yeah. It wasn't on. It wasn't you on your live. Like it was in person, yeah. and they were say, they were talking about how big of a deal it was. Yeah. That Dallas is starting to rival it a little bit, but the Toronto was number two. Yeah. So we'll see what the pop culture, you know, appetite is like out there. Well, I can tell you as someone who. Has ordered a bunch of cards off of eBay. A lot of them come from Canada. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Marvel cards. Yeah. And Justin at PwC went up to Vancouver for a card show, and he said people were talking Marvel cards all up there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people like the attitude is people want to get into Marvel, but they're concerned about the volatility right now. But the, the interest is still there. I love. I, you know, when you see things like this, I'm a positive guy. Yeah. And one of the positivities for me is like Marvel Car sustains whatever it's in. Uh-huh. That builds that actually wind up building some trust in yeah. what it does afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't you know me, I don't care. I'm still gonna rip Marvel right. cars and put <laughs> collect them my yeah. level. So. You're a degenerate. Uh, I am <laughs> speaking of degenerate, didn't you say we're gonna open some Star Wars at some we point? We could. We could. Have you opened anything since you've been here? No. I'm trying to sell these boxes. You sell I was looking for Chrome, uh, Galaxy Chrome. Have you seen any? I heard rumor of a box for $4.99. Okay. Have you seen any Masterworks? Oh, that's not true. We saw three boxes of Masterworks for what? That was four or five hundred a box. It was in that room over there. But that was yesterday. I, I haven't seen it since. When I opened that Masterworks box with you, I, I, dinner that one time I was like hey, man, I gotta get some of these and then I, I ripped like three cents <laughs> yeah yeah that was a lot of fun yeah I have those cards here too yeah. Sasha Banks okay yeah out of 25 auto <laughs> <laughs> 
Dan is always good. Yes, definitely. All right, bud. But you're you're gonna eat dinner tonight or what? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna eat dinner. Uh, I have my family with me. You do. So after that, then I'll go to trade night. And then, you know. Okay. You got a spot you're setting up? I get there late, so just wherever I can wherever I can sit. If you guys are sitting there, I'll go sit with you guys, and I'll move around. Whatever. Right. You know. I. You know, I didn't see you guys. I was at trade night till 4 a.m. last night. I didn't see you guys, but then you I saw know. your live. You guys were way down there. Yeah, so we were trying to set up over close to the restaurant. And I saw you, you were like yeah. in a conversation. Uh -huh. And in fact, I did this and I walked by and you never even moved. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was been like really focused. No, I, I, was, I was doing crazy deals last night. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. I was uh, I was like, I'm going to let him yeah. let him do what he's doing. And But they were like, hey, we don't want to have noise. We want to stream. Oh, okay. And it actually ended up being really good down there. Okay. You're Set up right. at the whatnot table. Did you pull up it? Pull anything? No. <laughs> I opened a box of 75th, pulled an emerald out of uh, 100, but that was it. Okay. Everything else was junk. But there's nothing to rip. Like, yeah. it was, there's no product. Yeah, no product here to buy. Well, I mean, if you buy that. Yeah, except for my boxes, right? You don't <laughs> want, you just, it's hard to want to rip it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought this, and like, I'm, you know, my box base is pretty low, and it went up so much, like, I don't want to, it's better for me to cash out on it, you know? Different yeah. Bit. Well, what we're discovering is, is there was actually a lot fewer of these printed than we thought. Oh, wow. Compared okay. to what in the e -pack. Yeah. Like with Spider-Man Metal, they're saying around 30% physical, the rest on e -pack. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it makes sealed even more yeah. important. Yeah. I'd like to have one. See how it's got Phoenix on it? Yeah. So, I want to get one sealed box as part of my Phoenix collection. I'm already getting a pack that I'm getting graded. Okay. But I still need the one of one Dark Phoenix. Again. High series. Has that been pulled? No one knows. It's probably in there. That's <laughs> see, that's the problem, yeah. and that's why I would rip it if I had it. <laughs> you know me too well. Yeah. ABR. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bud. All right. I'm gonna go. Okay. Still recording? Sweet, come here. There he is. Hey! Hey, I got a car I want to show you. How you doing? Everybody remembers. It was. Why does January feel like so long ago? Oh yeah, I mean, it was long ago. It was five months ago. Five months ago, yeah. And then this hobby is like four dog, four four car gears, right? right? You know. But we sat at this table and we had an interview. Yeah. You may even have that sports coat on. It's funny. I'm always wearing this when you come around. I, I love it. I didn't bring it last time I was in Dallas, but no. I think it was coming out kidding. Well, you know I'm an LSU guy, so. Oh, there you go. It works purple, out. It works out. Purple works. Yeah. So, uh, but the hobby's changed a lot since January. Absolutely. I think it's going to continue to change, right? Right. But for Marvel cards, we've seen prices drop. And I was talking to you yesterday, and you were like, hey, I think Marvel cards have moved into... You think you said a two and a half year hold? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the hobby is incredibly cyclical when we look at past market results. When we scale back where the hobby is today compared to where it was seven years ago, 14 years ago, 21 years ago, you see the fluctuation. But ultimately, the grand scheme of things, not in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really important right now to understand that um, you have to truly love what you collect. Right? You love Marvel cards and you're doing it more than monetary gain and it doesn't matter where the market's at anyway. Mm -hmm. Eventually, there's going to be people that have the same sentiment and that's when the market really starts blossoming again. Yeah, so, that's my take on it. You remind me of something I read the other day that really resonated with me. Sure. This guy was like, look, I buy what I like and I avoid the spec and what I like ends up becoming the, what you should expect on. Right, yeah. And I thought that was really good. Like, no, absolutely. It tends to work out that way. Uh, I've been a diehard Kobe Bryant fan since I can remember anything. And uh, once I got into collecting, as you can imagine, I became obsessed with collecting a bunch of Kobe Bryant's. And I just you, saw what was in this case. <laughs> and before you know, oh, you saw, you saw the thing? Okay. <laughs> nice. You guys like precious metal gems, I'm assuming. Yes. I think this is the Spider-Man of all basketball precious metal gems. That's a Spider-Man. Definitely wow. Spider-Man. Uh, no doubt. Hands down. <laughs> Original PMG right there. Oh, gosh. Somebody can sign that? Yeah. Good job, dude. I'm going to be right back.
I've just realized I left my case. Oh yeah, I know. I need that. He was like, oh, I gotta go get it. What'd you yeah. say? No, I just said that you, um, as anyone who has came to my booth before, the Kobe's are my personal collection, and as you guys know, they're not for sale. Um, they're just here for display day. They're beautiful, man. Those Thank autos. You. To me, that's as good as it gets for Kobe. Are when does this one go up? Uh, June 8th. June 8th to the 26th. June 8th to the 26th. Um, We're talking... What? So, last time we sold the car, it went for 400 Yeah, I was thinking We half. haven't sold one in this year. Mm -hmm. So, I think it has a good shot at 300 just because of the scarcity, and once they see, when they sell, they don't come back out. No. They're forever homes. Yeah. I love it. I'm so glad. Can I, can I hold it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I would like to compare it to the Red Spidey. Sure, let's, let's go side by side. Yeah. All right, guys. I want to catch this in the light. Now it's different slabs, but man, that is very similar foiling for both cards. Oh gosh, that is, there we go. That is perfection. I love it. So, Spider-Man Metal comes out in June, we believe, and Arena Designs is back on the job for making the PMGs for Marvel. And they've committed to making the foiling just like the 2013 and the 1997 NBA basketball PMGs. So we know what to expect from that set. It's gonna be a big deal. Yeah, I can't wait to see where this one goes. I can't wait to uh, see where, where uh, Oh, the green, goes. yeah. That's exciting. If you watch the live stream, the Marvel card show, we talked about a card being both historically relevant, being rare, aesthetically pleasing and iconic, this card has all four. It's historically important as the first PMG. It's iconic because it's Jordan. It's rare because it's only 90 of the reds, 10 of the greens, and it's aesthetically pleasing. It's all those four things rolled in together into one card. It's really special. Excited to see what that does at Golden. Yeah, absolutely, me too. Hi, bud. Hey, thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure, brother. Always, always a pleasure. Yeah. See you next time. I'll wear this jacket. Please do. That's good. All right, so we found a Marvel card in kind of an unusual place. It's a Marvel card slabbed in between glass, right? Absolutely. Gorilla glass, front and back, polycarbonate interior. Wait, 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 wait. Gorilla glass. Gorilla glass, front We just bought my wife a Jeep Rubicon. That's right. That just now started using Gorilla Glass as its windshield is one of their big selling points. We're doing the same thing. Impact Glass makes it incredibly strong, so you come in here, you smack it. You're never going to be, well, it's going to take a lot of work to break it, I should say. You can always break something. So what we do is we have every card that comes in here, every card comes with the Gorilla Glass front and back but the polycarbonate interior is basically bulletproof glass. So bulletproof glass itself, I hit this with a hammer, with a claw hammer, with a sledge. Um, what you get here, right, the card is undamaged. Nice to know that if you were to go in and have your card come in, something happened to it, it's in one of the world's most protective slabs you can possibly get. So I get the protection, but yeah. what if, what if I want to grade my car because I want it to be graded well absolutely. and preserved yeah, and, absolutely. and displayed? So let me tell you a little bit about what we do here. So every one of our cars that comes in is a combination of computer vision as well as human graders. Because one, you're never going to get it right with either one, right? If you have a human, the last thing you need is that human to not drink coffee or get into a fender bender on the way home and just feel a little upset, not really like it, grade you a little harshly, a little unfairly. If you go with the computer, the problem with the computer is computers don't know what it's doing, right? Without people, it's just going to figure things out on the fly and it's not going to get things right. We see this already everywhere out there, right? You can't just let a machine go nuts because the machine doesn't know what it's doing. We've got to marry the two. So we have our expert graders and our regular graders come in, they correct all the damage that the computer has seen in our high resolution scans. They then assess it and say, what else is going on here? Any scratches, any yellowing, we have a centering look and all that stuff. So you get all the true grades on the back. This card's a great example. This card has nine or nine five subs except for the surface. 
the surface is a seven. Update, we're actually now when I crack this card out, because this is one of the cards I crack, when I crack this card out, I went ahead and said, I don't like the fact that it's a seven surface. I just broke it out of a pack. Why would it get a seven surface? My team was able to come in and say, here's the deal. Uh, you were drinking coffee while you crack this out, and you managed to rub off and add some stuff to the surface of this card. So not only are you the instrument of your own destruction, I can tell you exactly how you did it. We bring that out in every one of our grade reports for our cards, where you can actually see every location of a card's damage. So this here is you saying, hey, listen, I've got my bottom left corner here. What's going on? I can see a little bit of damage there. I've got my top left corner. see some damage there. What about my edges? Did my edges look good? Oh, here's the spots that we saw some light chipping. We saw some light damage. It's so all how we tell you how your card laddered up and got the grade it did, right? We also tell you exactly when the card was graded. You got a QR code on the back that allows you to pull up that grading report. More than anything, man, we're collectors for collectors. We said, if you're gonna go in and get a card graded for $29, $50, whatever, you should get $29 worth of product out, right? You shouldn't get 12 cents of plastic. You so should $29 is the cost to grade a card? Correct, yep. Yeah. Does that include shipping back to you? Well, no, shipping back, you got to pay extra just because we got to cover it on the way back yeah. and everything. Yeah. But it's 29 bucks a card. Yeah, if you're a big Marvel fan, we got a couple things in here. I know DC stands for don't care. Uh, hey, how do you do know that? that? Well, we do have a Wonder Woman in there. we got some Star Wars ones that we've graded recently. We've got a Doctor Strange from a UK version there. That is a cool Strange. Yeah, it's nice. The power cards were fun from that set. Now, do you collect Marvel cards? I do. I love Marvel cards. Marvel, Star Wars, TCG, all that stuff. All so. the non-sports. All no I love sports cards too, but yeah. like all the Star Wars ones, we have a samples here of mine. Yeah. Uh, I do like a lot of non-sport cards because for me, I love how they play. The art that comes in, especially like masterpieces, are yeah. just unbelievable. Yeah, masterpieces are. Yeah, Top so favorite of mine. Are you gonna do the, the Spider-Man uh, metal series coming out in like a month or two? I'm trying to get two boxes that I want to pull from. So yeah, that well, I PMG hunting. That's what it is. PMG hunt. Well, actually, the, I told him yesterday if I were to get, I don't know how fast you have to do the three submissions. But when, typically, when you sub, we do like two, three weeks right now for turnaround. Okay. We guarantee 60 days, but it's around two, three weeks. Well, in the Spider-Man metal, they're going to have uh, palladium cards, acetate. Yeah, and I was thinking, I'd like to see what that looked like. We had a Venom acetate in here for the suspended animation. Yeah. And someone yesterday came by and they were like, I need this. I want it. They were trying to buy it from us. We were like, we don't sell. We just give away. Right. So I was like, just take it. It's yours. You can have it. Uh, which is what we did with a couple other cards we brought here today. We'll bring some of these trade night tonight. Fun, but you know that for me the Marvel connection the connection to your favorite IPs that's what I love collector well I, yeah we got to get together we, I want to get your stuff in our slabs I want to give you some free grades absolutely yeah. and I want to I want to see some I want to see some stuff here with you I'd love to I'd love to just keep chat too. well check out check out the content on YouTube yeah, absolutely man we'll yeah. be here thank you so much for yes, dropping sir. by it was good and you again, thank bro. you both for giving us the information yeah, absolutely it's great all right yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll All see. right, we'll be there. We'll Looking forward to it. We'll Tell me your, as an Alex and Lobo. I yeah, remember Lobo. We'll be there. Yes, nice shirt, man. Hey. What's How you up? Doing, sir? And you, you are? I'm Eugene. Eugene. I'm Justin's dad. Are you serious? Is yes, Justin man. here? Yeah, he's here. I got to see him. He'll be down. He's going to come around. Look at this shirt, out. man. Yeah. Try to represent, awesome. man. That is awesome. I love it. <laughs> Try to represent the You got to you gotta lead me to him. Where's he at? He, he's, he's coming down, he's in the room, we're picking out some stuff and he's bringing out there. Okay. Yeah. Find anything you like? Yeah, I saw a lot. I like what I just came to court. I uh, know, I'm with you. I uh, <laughs> I checked out Michael, though. You know, he had plenty of stuff. Michael's there. stuff is God, unbelievable, man. right? He is awesome. Will you make sure that uh, you set just, up or you over there with I'm, him? I'm just walking around. Just walking around checking no, out. I was set up in Atlanta mm -hmm. and it was just too much work. Yeah. It's easy to do it this way. I'd That's just rather walk around and talk to you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what we rather do too. Uh huh. And I don't want to sell anything anyway, so. Yep. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Let's get a picture here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to get worn out of that. Awesome. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. All right, my friends. At this point in the video, somehow we lost audio. <laughs> like for the rest of the show, which was. I don't know, another 45 minutes worth of recording and of the most pivotal negotiations that I had while at the card show 
or Marvel cards all happened in this segment, and there's no audio, so I'm going to voice over the segment where I trade and purchase some cards and give you some commentary around that, but otherwise, I'm going to put some music to what you're seeing so that if you want to still sit back and chill and watch and look at cards and things of that nature, you can, but... Uh, for the rest of this kind of segment right here, you're going to get voiceover and then music. So check it out. At this point of the show, a friend of mine who I've known via Instagram and being at the Dallas Card Show in the past brought by his very special Venom Gold One of One PMG from 2015 Flare Retro. And I wanted some people to see it, and you can just see how their face lights up. And we're looking at this amazing card. Just, you know. Not very many people get to own a gold one of one PMG. It's really special when you do. And this card is, you know, one of the better cards. Top character, top three character, and just amazing. Gold one of one PMG. So I know he's happy to have the card, and I was happy to see it and be able to share that with you guys. After looking at the gold one of one Venom PMG, we headed over to another table. Actually, we're kind of headed out of the show to be, if my memory is correct. And as we were heading out the show, we were having a conversation and I walked by this table and I saw more Marvel comic books and comic cards, which like you've heard me say in the video, like you couldn't go down an aisle and not see a table with Marvel cards, which was awesome. And so I was like, paused the conversation I was having and began to you know, take a look at these cards. And there was definitely cards that I saw immediately that I had been wanting to have in my collection. And... Those cards are some of the inserts from the 2015 Flare Retro sets. Now, if you're not familiar with Flare Retro, they did homage cards. Basically, homaging or, you know, making a homage of cards from the 1990s. That includes 1994 Flare, 1990 MU, Power Blast, just very cool stuff. And he also had other inserts such as you know, these metal inserts here that the parallels of those are PNGs. You had star power and you had uh, the star studs, acetate cards, just really cool stuff. So it took me a little bit to sort through and, and really nail down the ones that I wanted. And part of the reason for that was, is he had pretty high prices listed on them. And, you know, I, I kind of knew that we were, I couldn't make a deal on all of it and get to a price that I was comfortable with. So what I wanted to do is take out the cards that I wanted and then start the negotiation process, which is what we did. So at this point, uh, I began to decide on which cards that I wanted out of all of the ones that he had. And I landed on primarily Wolverine, Spider-Man, Venom, a really special power blast that you'll see here in just a second from Black Cat. Uh, the character is Black Cat. Just an amazing card. He had $400 on this card as a price. And I asked him, like, how did you come up with that price? He said, well, the last one sold for $200. And the only 2015 Flare Retro Power Blasts that are on eBay right now are $800. So he's like, I just landed kind of in the middle. I was like, okay. And he had like $150, $150, $25 on most of the other cards. So it added up to, you know, quite a bit um, if you were going off the sticker prices. So I knew when I handed him the cards that he was going to, you know, take the time to look at them. And in negotiations, I wanted to start off with, you know, just a very simple question. And, you know, you're, when you're negotiating, questions are your friend. And it's a way to get free information. And so my first question was, hey, what would you take for all of these? And, you know, he was like, I'll, you know, do this for this and this for this and that for that kind of thing. And um, he ended up, I can't remember exactly, like he was about a thousand dollars or something like that. And uh, but I, whatever it was at. And at that point, I was asking him, like, what would you do if I threw in a trade? And that's what followed next. The, um, after he got finished pricing all of them, checking eBay and doing those things, which I had, you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world to see, but I actually had no real problem with it. Um, so I, I played kind of the waiting game where the first who speak loses. If you've ever heard of that 
negotiate, negotiation tactic. It's where you let the silence get palpable, right? And so he eventually gave me his number. And then I said, well, look, are you into sports? He's like, yes. Well, I have this PSA 10 Kobe Bryant rookie card. It's a, it's a pop 29 and I just got it. It's not, excuse me, I'm sorry. It is not a rookie card. I don't know why I keep saying that. It was not a rookie card. So uh, I pulled it out of my case and I'd already priced it. I knew that that card was running around 300 bucks, $250, that, that kind of price. And uh, it was a wonderful card, but not a rookie card. So I said, look, what would you give me for this Kobe Bryant? And he looked at it and came to the conclusion that he would give it $250. And I said, well, look, if you'd give me $250 in value for the Kobe, I'll give you $500 for the rest of the cards. And that's how we came to the deal. So I'm really happy. These are cards that, you know, I really wanted in my collection. Um, and specifically the Spider-Man and Wolverines. The Wolverine has a chance at a PSA 10. The Venom has a chance at a PSA 10. I really like the Black Cat. That's a set I'm gonna chase now. I'm gonna be looking for those Power Blasts. I think they're gonna be so cool. And yeah, I was really happy to put this deal together. So glad you enjoyed it. I'm gonna show you these cards a little bit more up close in just a moment. That way you can get a better look at the ones that I got in the deal. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stick around. There's some more content <laughs> with audio. And then at the end, I'm going to put up the, um, the video, part of the videos that you were not able to hear. So you can watch that. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, keep watching. <laughs> and if you haven't already done so, hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, hit the su subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you have a marvelous day. All right, my friends. These are the pickups from today. We got a 2015 Wolverine sketch card of Spidey here. Boom, gave it away. That little girl loved it. I'm done. Yeah. Gambit for the broom. Gambit Auto for Dustin. We got a star studded Hulk. We got a Flare Spidey. Dark Phoenix. We got Wolverine back here. Cyclops and Iron Man, Storm, and Tossed About. And this is uh, one of the bigger cars. We got Black Cat here. I got it. Power Blast. Fun car. We got Flare Wolverine. We got a Gambit. It's a Gambit, sorry. That's Gambit. We got a Venom and Spidey here. And we got a Star Power Supreme Jean Grey. So these are the pickups from the show today. Marvel guys, man. Okay, so everybody knows Michael Salter. You know, Mr. Marvel Card House, right? <laughs> Mark, look at his shirt. But look what he's. He's got the FX Havoc one of one. Can I touch it? Oh, yeah. One of one. And we got stacks of cash. This guy. Hello. <laughs> Say hello for the camera. I don't see your name. I'm just a guest. He's a, <laughs> so, uh, I'm a huge fan of Havoc. Uh, he's my PC. Uh, this is. Like the grail item, obviously, it's a one of one. Uh, I got a six sketch earlier today, and I really just want to add one more piece to my uh, PC. Uh, so, I've been looking at this. I, I'd seen it on eBay for what, six months. You've had it yeah, up there now. Yeah. First ungraded, then graded. Yeah. Yeah. At one time they were on the on the same time for like a week or two. Yeah. My bad. So I was following that. I saw that. <laughs> Remember I saw that? that other yeah, guy yeah, yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Got in trouble. Oh, come on. Yeah. At one time they were on the on the same time for like a week or two. Yeah. My bad. So I was following PC, that. You, you came to the show. They yeah, yeah. found yeah. your trouble. Oh, one of one PC. Can we tell them on the price if you agree? Uh, we don't have to. We don't have yeah. to. No, it's okay. That's yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah, and we know that a guy. PC and have it. Yeah. Is getting his grill car. Yeah. Maybe. And that is trying, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's if y'all figure it out. Yeah. I have faith. Yeah. Alright guys. Marvel trade night it's happening. It's going down. I also, I also found that out of uh, this is really insane actually. Yeah. Which is a case of that's crazy.
Thank you. 
Thank you. 